Hello and welcome to the 11th Wacom machine learning tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover a question. When I'm using a k-fold cross-validation, can I get each of the folds from Wacom? Well, this is a very good question because when you're doing a k-fold cross-validation uh, by using any kind of classification algorithms, what you see in Wacom is that you are getting the final results uh, by averaging the performances of the classification algorithms across the k folds but sometimes this is very usual that as a researcher or a data miner uh, you need the folds of uh, these cross validation sets so how can you get each of the folds from a k fold cross validation setup from wake up so we're going to start the Wake Explorer and I'm going to open a file that I'm currently working on. So this is our data file and you can see that we have 7629 instances and 39 attributes. So now if you go to the classify tab and if you choose the naive base classification algorithm and we're doing a tenfold cross-validation Then, if you put start then you, you can see that we are getting the results here and these results are the average of uh, all the tenfolds okay so what uh, Weka does is it, it automatically generates tenfolds because we have ten here as the number of folds and for each fold it has the precision recall if measure correctly classified instances or incorrectly classified instances and so on and afterwards after running for all the 10 folds it produces an average result and it displays it on the classifier output pane but sometimes as I said before you might need the folds that Weka is generating for this particular task so in order to get the folds, you can go to the preprocess tab. You can use the filter. You can choose the filters, and from the filters, you go to the unsupervised instance filters, and you can see there is an option called remove folds. So when you select the remove folds, you can go, and you can see that this filter takes the data set and outputs a specified fold for cross validation. So in the fold tab, if this is one. That means that you are going to generate the first fold for this data set. The inverse selection is false. That means that you are currently actually trying to get the first fold, <coughs> sorry, first fold from your data set. If that is true, that means that you are going to generate the folds from folds ranging from two to nine, two to ten. And here the number of folds is specified as ten. We are not using any kind of seed, so that's set to uh, default zero. So we're going to make it false because we're trying to get the first fold for this data set and we click OK. So if you if you choose apply, then you can see that the number of instances are now 763. So that's the data, that's the instance number of instances for your first fold. And you can always save this fold by clicking on save and choosing a name. So you can see that this has been saved as 1.arf. But you have to remember that if you choose the unsupervised um, instance filter for rent, remove false option, the, if you choose this filter, then what you're going to do is you are not actually stratifying the false. What's a stratification? What does stratification mean? Well, stratification means that when you're using a training and test uh, test folds, uh, or you're just splitting your data set into some, some, some number of folds, at that time, this is not guaranteed that all the classes uh, will, be, uh, will be presented in a particular fold. So if your training instances, if your training set has, uh, for example, all the 10 classes, uh, but your test instances, uh, the test set you are producing for, or for or by uh, using this filter, uh, that doesn't have all the 10 classes represented then your classification performance will be very poor so in order to stratify uh, the faults you can use the supervised filter 
and go to the instance and here you have an option called stratify remove false it's the same as the uh, uh, unsupervised uh, remove fault filter but the only difference is that when you are choosing this the stratified uh, uh, remove fault fi uh, filter at that time you're guaranteeing that every fault will have all every class in your data sets so I hope that helps and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.